Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm delighted to greet you in the matches and powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who alone is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. God's name is worthy to be praised. How are you, Tawana? I tell you, you know how to be on right when the pastor's on. I hope you're feeling better. Good to greet you. Um, how's everybody? I'm looking for you, you, and you. All right. Um, so please join me. I'm here. Okay, notices and announcements quickly. Okay, please be advised that tonight we will not have Bible study. I do have a commitment and, well, it's not unfortunate. I'm very happy for these judges that we helped to get elected. I'm going to an induction of Judge Lisa Linda Williams this evening. Um, but please do the assignment that was due um, for tonight, and we'll cover that assignment next week as well as move into the next assignment. All right, that's A. B, please join us on this Sunday. Well, please join us this Friday. Friday is karaoke. It's going to start at 6 o'clock. It's going to be a wonderful time. It's just good to have some fun. I want to thank Gregory Brooks, who's given leadership to that effort. So if you think you can sing, want to sing, or don't want to do anything, just be a part of the crowd. Um, join us tonight, Friday night, brother, I'm sorry, for our karaoke. Um, that is um, Friday, I don't know where the time is going. Um, Friday will be um, January 26, all right? And then join us on Sunday for our worship experience as we continue um, to worship together. How pleasant and good it is for those of us to praise the Lord. I want to talk as we are studying. And please, those of you who are with me in Noonday Prayer, these times are helping us um, with our preachment. We're going to be preaching. Um, out of Luke's Gospel, Chapter 4, um, which we covered on yesterday, um, Chapter 4, verses 17 um, to 26. So please join us for that um, on worship. And then in the afternoon, we will have our in-person um, annual candlelight service. Uh, my good friend, um, the Reverend Dr. Ruby Wilson will be our preacher. She um, and I were in school together. She actually was my preaching partner. We did an um, introduction to preaching together um, when we were in seminary. I'm delighted to have her come to share with us. Um, she's a powerful preacher. You don't want to miss it. And it's just good to be able to come together. We have dinner immediately following the morning worship experience. And then we will um, go into our candlelight service. Um, I hope that you will join us for that. And um, I think that's pretty much what I have. Um, on Friday, I believe that is February the 1st. Let me look at the calendar. Um, mm, Friday, February the 2nd, one of our dear members, um, Arlene Nevis, transition. We're going to have a memorial service on February the 2nd, and that's going to start at 6 o'clock. I'll tell you more about that, but she's a wonderful person. I'm godfather to her children, and, um, you know, when one of us suffer, all of us suffer together. I want you to pray for our sick and shut in. I want you to pray for Silda Morgan, who is in my mommy's hospital. I want you to pray for Jordan Robinson, who's in a hospital in New Jersey. Um, pray for Sister Ruby Ramsey. Pray for... Um, Deacon Joseph Reeves, who has chronic back pain since the church and says, please pray for him. Um, pray for um, Sister Frances Randolph. These are those members that have worked so hard and bore the burden in the heat of the day, and we don't want to forget them. All right. Um, let me go ahead and read. Let, let's see who we have here um, that have joined us today on this beautiful um, Wednesday. Let's see. Um, Tawana, well, yeah, you're always here. Thank you so much for joining. Maxine, Thelma Phillips, thank you. Carmen, how are you? That's my running partner, even though we haven't been running in a while. Natalie Crawford, thank you for your faithfulness. Sister Ruby Ramsey, good to see you. Sister Deborah Dunham, Brother Richard Fagan, thank you so much. Angela Thornton, how are you? Thank you for being here. Maxine Boogerman, um, Booganon, Booknon. Thank you so much for being here. Um, 
Marlene Williams, good to see you. Uh, my good friend and partner, we grew up together, Sister Wanda Roberts, thank you. Let somebody know that if they want to spend a good 15 minutes of prayer, meditation, join me every day at 12, and maybe 12.02, 12.05, but close to 12, so just be near the phone, and it's, you know I'll be on as quickly. I'll try to be on at 12, certainly close to 12 as possible. All right. Let's go to the word today. Um, we are in, um, we are in Luke's gospel, um, Luke's gospel, and I'm at verse, chapter four, I believe we are in chapter four. Let me just make sure. I'm going to get, make sure we get the right chapter here. Stay with me for just one second. Um, okay, um, just want to see, is this right? I apologize. I think we are, we, I think we made it to chapter five. Let's see. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, Luke chapter five. Luke chapter five, and we are at verse 27. Okay, Luke chapter five, verse 27. Um, yeah, we were in um, chapter four last week. Luke chapter 5, verse 27, Jesus calls his disciples. Okay, are we there? We're going to do chapter 5, verse 27 to 31. Are you there with me? All right, here it is. After this, Jesus went out. This is after yesterday when we talked about the fact that um, Jesus heals this man who is sick of the palsy. And his friends bring him to Jesus, and they can't get in, and they have faith. And when Jesus saw their faith, that would be our text on Sunday. We're going to talk about the power of faith. And um, here it is now. Um, after this remarkable healing that Jesus does and really shows them that he has the power not only to forgive sin, but he also has the power to heal. All right. After this, Jesus now calls his disciples and um, Jesus spends time with the least of us. I'm so glad they look beyond our faults and he sees our needs. Here it is. I'm in um, Luke chapter 5, verse 27. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. Follow me, Jesus said to him. And Levi got up, left everything, and followed him. How many of you are willing to leave your occupation, leave your family, leave your friends to follow Jesus? Apparently, Levi, who's also known as Matthew, heard about Jesus, seen the miraculous workings of Jesus. He was making lots of money. He was rich. He was a tax collector. But the Bible says that when he saw Jesus, he left everything to follow Jesus. I think really today, we're looking for some people. Jesus is looking for some people that are willing to leave everything to follow him. And what does Levi do? He has a great, um, he has a lot of money. And the Bible says, then Levi held a great banquet for Jesus at his house. And a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with them. He loved Jesus and he had this big banquet, invited friends to come because he was changed at just the presence of Jesus and being with Jesus. But you know, when God changes you, people will complain. They'll find something. Here it is, verse 30. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who belong to their sect complained to his disciples, why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners. Because Levi, Matthew, 
He collected too much tax. He was a sinner. But when he saw Jesus, he changed. And Jesus gives the answer. So that's why we should not be so critical of people who come to church who are not like we are but they're now in the presence of Jesus. We can't change them, but Jesus can make the difference. Here it is. Jesus answered them. It is not healthy, he says. It is not healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I've not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Ah, that's a word for today. Jesus says it's not healthy. Who needs a doctor but the sick? Jesus, I've not come to call the righteous, but I've called, I've come to call those that are sin sick. And so let us not be so judgmental, but be open to bring those who may not know Jesus in the way that we do to Jesus, because that's where those of us who are sin sick and those of us who have met Jesus, we're who we are only because of the love and the grace and the mercy of Jesus the Christ. Well, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, for this time together, we give you thanks for your word that's so pregnant with truth and power that yet gives birth as we yet try to understand it. We give you thanks. Now, God, we pray that you bless each person under the sound of my voice. You know more of what to give us than we know what to ask for. So we pray, oh God, where there's sickness, you'll be a doctor. Where there's confusion, you'll be our peace. Where there's lack, oh God, you will provide. Thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Thank you for your word that's so pregnant with truth and power that gives birth as we yet try to understand it. Bless those that will join us later because we know that the grass withers and the flower fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Now, God, we ask that you would hear our prayer, incline your ear to us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. I don't want to keep you long today. Um, but I'm always glad to spend this time with you. We'll continue tomorrow. We are in Luke's Gospel, Chapter 5. Okay, Carmen, how are you? Let's see, who did, who, who did we not see yet? Say hello, Maxine. How are you? Um, yeah, okay, okay. Um, good to see all of you. Sister Ann Hamid, how are you? Renee Brown, thank you for joining us. Florence Farrell. Um, Janice, Tom, Joyce, thank you. Joan, hope all is well. Sister Phyllis Laria, Sister Thelma Phillips, good to see each and every one of you. Well, let's receive the benediction, and I'll look to see you tomorrow. Um, someone asked, no, Joan, Bible study is canceled tonight. I'll see you on next Wednesday. All right. I'll look for you for karaoke on Friday. And then, of course, please join us um, for our worship experience on Sunday. And then our candlelight service, which will commence promptly at 3 o'clock p.m. All right. God bless you. Let's receive the benediction. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance. May he grant you his peace and his love. And you're going in and you're going out. You're down, sitting, and you're uprising. We just stand in his presence through Jesus the Christ, to whom be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.